Hey, it's Koi from the Canada Game Centre and welcome to a whole new week on upcycling. This week, we are focusing on giving new life to old clothing. And today, we are focusing on socks. Now, I do believe in a thing called the laundry troll that steals one single sock from a matching pair, leaving just one poor, lonely sock. Now, what do you do with this sock? There's nothing wrong with wearing mismatched socks, but you could also turn it into something new like what we're making today, a hacky sack. So, this craft involves a little bit of hand sewing, but if you've never sewn before, don't worry. I had never sewn until today, and it took me about 30 minutes to figure out how to do it. So, it's a really good introduction to sewing, and it really doesn't have to be pretty. You're just making a fun hacky sack. So let's give it a try. To make this hacky sack, you will need an old sock and some scissors, you will also need something to fill your hacky sack with. I have rice, you're welcome to use lentils or whatever else you think would work. You will need a needle and thread, as well as some kind of funnel to fill your sock. So I've got a little funnel I've made out of paper. Just note that we don't want it to be too small because the rice has to be able to go through the bottom. We don't want it to get stuck. And then just tweezers are optional, just in case you need to kind of pick out some thread. They're kind of handy to have, but that's all you need. We're going to start by cutting the tip of our sock off. So, you just want to measure about four fingers width, right from the end to here, and that's where you're gonna cut. So, I've got my mark there, and I'm just going to cut this off. Now that the sock is cut, I'm going to turn it inside out. And that's because we're going to sew it inside out and turn it right side in at the last minute for the best look. So, I've got my sock there. I've thread this thread through my needle, and I've got my needle in the center. Now, I'm going to take either end of the thread and put them together so they're at equal length. And then I'm going to wrap these around my finger to create a loop. And I'm going to feed that through. So I'm just making a little granny knot, tying these two loops together. I want to have that close to the end. Ta-da! Once I've got that, I'm just going to cut off this excess really close to the end. So, we can start sewing now. So I want to make sure the two ends of my sock are level. I'm going to start at the very end. I'm going through. I will pull through, but not all the way. And then we're going to come back on the other end really close to that stitch. Once I've done that, before I pull it all tight, I'm going to feed this needle through that, through in between these two pieces of thread that we just tied together. And I can pull it all tight, and voila. And now we're on, and we can just start sewing. So, just continuing from very close to from the last stitch, going through one end and pulling. And then from the other end, close to that last stitch, and through, like so. And we're just going to continue along, doing the whole length of the sock, except for we're going to stop probably, let's stop about a finger's width from the end. So I'll see you then. Now, this is where, if you know what you're doing, You'll do the last few stitches nice and loosely, and then you will turn the sock inside out, fill it with the rice, and then tighten those stitches up. However, because I'm just learning how to sew, I'm just not quite there yet. But that's okay. You can still make a totally functional bean bag with how I'm going to show you. It's just that the very end of your stitching will be sticking out rather than in. But it's still a totally functional bean bag, and there's no issue with that. So, from here, with this last little space before I've stitched it, I'm just going to turn the sock right side in. And just be mindful not to poke yourself with that needle because it will be hanging about. And now that I've got my sock in the right direction, I will use my funnel and start filling in with my rice. So now I've filled it with my rice, and I haven't filled it too much, so there's still 
some room in there. And now we're just going to finish by doing the last little bit of stitching. So, just going to continue on how we were stitching before. Going one way and then the other way. Staying close to our stitches. We'll just do a few more of those. And then, to wrap it up, when you do your last stitch, you want to go back under your previous stitch there on the same side. And this is where those tweezers would come in handy to help pull those up so you can get underneath like so. And you're just going to go under and then through this loop that you just created. And voila! The last step is just to cut off your excess string and the needle. And there we have it! We have now upcycled this sock and repurposed it as a bean bag. Now let's go try it out! Beat my record and knock the socks off me. See ya.